Hey residents of Meeple Town, today John and I are the newest members of the Royal Monstrological Society. I'm, How about you, that? You did a really good job saying that word. I don't even know, well, I don't know if I pronounced it right. Mon monstrological is what I'll say. I think that's right. So we're going to be hunting monsters, so we have set up three different camps apiece, and we're going to go out a hunting monsters. Let's get to the table and check out Monster Expedition. Ex Expedition. Yep. <laughs> Oh boy, Meeple Town. My arms are hurting because usually I hold up the box and until Dean says the name. But he decided to keep rattling off for like 10 or 15 seconds and my tiny arms did you not want just, to hold that box up any longer. Just put it down. I could have just set it down, but you know. I thought you were going to say it's I epic. just flew in from, from wherever, England, and boy are my arms tired. That's what I thought <laughs> you were going to say. Okay, so in this game, this is pretty much... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute, John. I want to tell people... I want to tell people, hey, if you like our video, oh. like it. If you like what we do, subscribe. But also, we have a Patreon page. we got a link below in the description. So definitely click on that if you would like to support us beyond just hanging out with us and watching our movies, videos. We need all, we need all your monies. No, nope, it's not what I'm saying. Not at all. Okay, anyways, let's get to the game. Let's, let's get it. to the meat. So this is a push your luck game. What we're going to be doing, honestly, is we're going to be grabbing dice and we're going to be caging these monsters. Whoever has the most points at the end of the game, you're going to have points here. Uh, we also can grab cage monsters. If we do, they have a lower value point down there. There's different symbols on here that are going to give us different engines and different things like that or one-time bonuses throughout the course of the game. But we're going to just dive right in. But before we dive in, we're going to be we're going to do a complete playthrough of this. That's right. What's the record, Dean? I'm up 5-4 if my, if my tally is correct. Five games to four. However, I better win this one. I feel like the odds are in your favor. Have you beat me in this? No. Okay. But you <laughs> Although, know what? No, no. Every time happens. that happens, every time I beat him, like every time off camera, he beats me for some reason. That's so right. that's right. I, the odds are not in my favor. Did you say we're Cajun? Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. We're not Cajun, right? We're caging, <laughs> caging right. animals. That one. All right. I'm oh, first. you're off to a good start. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> you're okay. already winning. So what I first do on my turn is I pick one of these three camps to. Push forward, meaning that I can go for that color. There's only three different types of monsters that we're going out to and trying to grab. So um, I've got two of these, you know, prop here. You know, Dean, while I'm doing this, why don't you look up the names? I know it's like Ares and Enchanted Forest. Oh, it's actually on the front. It's the front. something else. That way we are a little bit more thematic. How about Airy, that? Airy. I'll the Depths. Airy. The Depths. Which is the blue one, I'm guessing. Okay. Yep. And then the, the Enchanted, Enchanted Forest. Forest. Okay, so Airy. So we have... Airy. Two, no, we have three in the airy, so do I want to go, do I want to go out to the airy part of the, you know, the desert area? I'm going to get that, that I want to go down to the depths, which that would be like some pretty serious stuff going, I mean, think about that. Trying to get monsters in the depths, that's serious. Or, I mean, no, the Enchanted Forest This is serious. Fun. This little, like, fox, hawk thing know, with has a, a shark, shark coming out of And a mouth. shark tail. That that's thing is serious. crazy. I say you go for that one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... We also are going to be able to upgrade these over the course of the game, but I do see that there are, you know what, I th you know, I think I'm going to do Oh, well, it's going to be a blue. long play. Okay, it. let's go. No, no, let's go. I'm not going to mess around. I'm going to go for the blue, um, which I, I right now my engine says that I get two black and one blue. So, hey, you start thinking about it as we go, Dean. Oh, I already know. So, what I'm going to okay. do now is pick one of these, and I'm going to place, no, excuse me, I pick one number, and I'll place all of that number here, and I'm going to bank them. So, right now, I'm going to bank this two. You may say, why don't you bank the three, John? This is why I'm banking the two, because this means that if I bank a two, then I'm going to get to turn this every two that I bank this way. So next time I do blue, I'm going to have one blue and three. So thematically, you're improving your camp as you as That's you. That's right. All right. So I don't know what, what do the dice represent? Weapons of sorts? Is that? I don't know, but I've got to roll. I've got six. I've got to roll at least a three here. Oh. Now I can miss throw in this game, so miss I'll six. share that. So if I roll a. You always have to pick a number that you haven't banked. So if I roll a four or a two, then I actually lose my highest number. But at this point, it's worth it. So let's just go. One. Ooh. Are you kidding me? So I can't cage anything. I've only got seven points, but I do get to improve this. So that wasn't a great start off, Dean. I'm going to take uh, two black and a green guy. Right. Uh, so I'm going to be going for one of those. There's lots of those out, three of those out there, but they're lower, eight, 10, and 12. Hopefully I can get something on that. I need three or eight would have. Oh my gosh. Eight is the highest number in the green. You can see the breakdown <laughs> there, but it also is going to improve my camp. Oh, I'm putting it on my, in my camp. 
All right, so I've already got one. I could actually stop, but I'm not going to roll an eight with six sided dice. It's impossible. Dice. That's right. This does tell you what they what the dice have. And That's stuff right. On them. So I'm going to keep. Ooh, this is a tough one. Actually, I can keep the three and improve my. Dude, camp you're rolling like a, a champ time. right now. The problem is, if I kept the four, I'd be able to get this one. And it's possible you could roll a three. That's right. I am not... One in six chance. I'm not going to push my luck on this, I don't think. When we play this game, he pushes his luck so much, he loses a lot of times. So. <laughs> that's any game. That's that's. I don't lose, right. I don't win a lot so of these. So you're not games. even going to do that one? I don't think so, because I'll be able to improve this camp twice. Twice. Yep, that's right. So I'm going to go boom, boom. So that next wow. time I'll be able to roll that's not good. four on that. And then I will... Um, Take the uh, fox friend here. I don't want to hunt the fox friend. Look, he's there my you friend. Go. Now, you may say, do you refill it? We don't refill it right now. We can get these caged monsters. Again, they're worth less value if they're caged for 10 points. Um, yeah, it's not until you someone takes a cage that we actually refill the whole display. So I am going to... Um, mm, I'm going to go blue one more time. I've got three die. Snow. I'm going to roll these suckers. All right, much better roll this time. I still could go for the two to improve this again, but at this point, I, I need to uh, maybe start getting some points. And I'm hoping that I can get... Get an eight. That's what I need a two. An eight. If I get an eight, then Dean gets to upgrade this. If Dean or I roll a 10, then I get to upgrade this. There mm. we don't go. Ooh. I just missed through. I could have gone what for this What are one. the odds? And if you busted, I could have gone up. So that means that boom, that's gone. So I, I'm going to keep going. I cannot believe that I rolled that fourth. Okay, that works. It does work. Um, that helps. Negatively, what's negative is I haven't rolled a three, a one, or a two. So I'm going to roll again. I'm just going to risk it because it's pretty. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Why did you risk that? Because I need to upgrade these things. Okay. <laughs> Unbelievable. That actually hurt me too. That makes you feel better. Terrible. I don't get another. I don't get a monster yet again, but I do get to upgrade this one. That hurt me though. If it makes you feel better, because you didn't get the upgrade, and you would have gotten the upgrade, but you would have gotten them. You would right. have gotten them. Just go, Dean. Wow, why did you do that, dude? That I'm rolling me. horrible. That hurts me. Dude, what were the odds on those? I'm gonna go green again. I think. <laughs> like, I wish that guy would shut his yapper and stop complaining. <laughs> I wish you would shut your yap. What's that from? I started that. I just said that. No, what's it from, though? It's from a movie. Shut Your Yapper would be the man van down by the river. Yep. What's his name? Which is not a... Which is, which is not a... Matt Foley, and That's it's right. not a movie. Oh, look which at that. That uh, does not help me with my upgrades. This might be silly. Okay, what do I need here? I need 12s and 8s. That's um, right, but I did not roll a 3 if you notice that. Um... Oh, I did roll that. Yeah, but I don't want to keep this, uh, my green one. Um, a part of me just wants to keep this one because at least it upgrades. You have to keep both your, or do you have one or There's two? only one one. Oh, okay. Yeah, so so I can upgrade my yellow. You got yellow. all those four sitting there, though. That's not I bad. know, it's nice. And that would be 12, which would be enough to get this yeah. one. But I need, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to risk it a little bit. That might be really silly. You're going to win because of that one crazy move. Now I could keep my threes and then upgrade that. Twice. Yeah. You're, this is this game is already over. The problem is this would only give me seven, and I'm going to need to get... I only need eight, so I only need to be able to roll one. So I'll keep that, my threes, as long as I don't bust and roll a three and a one. All right, so oh I can keep gosh. the six. Now, do I want to keep going? Probably not, because I've got enough to get this 12. So if John busts, inevitably if John busts again... <laughs> Or either one of us do. I'll be able to get um, uh, upgrade my yellow camp. Yeah, so, so every it's called. So anytime someone misthrows in the game, Dean with this card is gonna. I'll hold it up there for them. So oh, there we go. Yep. So anytime that someone misthrows, Dean's gonna get to upgrade the yellow camp as he just stated. So there you go. All right. So I'm upgrading my green once and then twice, which means I already get to flip this thing over, John. Yeah. How about that? Um, oh boy. Can I take these now? Twice. Hold on. And I upgraded my yellow camp one time. There you go. So, yep, you can go. All right, I'm going to go... I need you to bust again. I'm going to go blue. Dude, I, I mean, I'm. this is just... This is horrible stuff here. Okay, so I'm taking the seven. It is tempting to take Surely the one and the two. Surely can't mess that up, right? You won't. All right. If I take this two, then I can upgrade the two twice, which there I think I'm going to do seven, eight, uh, eight, nine. So, um, there's no reason for me to roll this, really, unless I want to risk on up... But you know... But you know... He's I, whipping I say me. you go for it. I'm going for, go it. for it. 
Okay, I was gonna say it didn't really help me. Yeah, I really I want wanted you to roll benefit a lower out of the number. I would have wanted to roll a lower number. Oh, I got you. Okay, so I've got seven, six is 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I can take any of these. I will take the lowest one to make it a little harder on Dean. But he actually isn't going for those right now. I'm not. But yeah, I'm still going to just in case because he's going to need to to complete a set. Yeah. If you complete a set of these, which are you have to have this symbol at the bottom, and they have the symbol up here. If you complete a set, then you get a permanent black die every time you roll. So um, I'm going to go for the yellow since I do need that. As I didn't upgrade done, that. Right? Did oh, I? I need to upgrade that twice. Okay. Go ahead. Well, you already almost upgraded all the way. Is that right? Did you just cheat? I just upgraded it twice. It's not all the way. Uh-huh. All right. I got my yellow. I'm going to go for one of those airy monsters. And let's Going see. out to the airy area. Ooh. That one will help me with my upgrade, but... Uh, oh, goodness. Pardon me. Yeah, I'm going to keep the two so I can upgrade my blue, my depth camp. Let's see how this pays off for me. A 10. You get a 10 bonus? You do. I do. That's a 12. Um, if I get double twos, what do I need? I need 12 as the highest. The only thing that I'll gain a benefit from is upgrading my camps. But the odds of me rolling two twos right now is low. Okay, so which camp do I want to upgrade? I think I'm going to upgrade my yellow camp again because I've got... Yeah, I've got as high as I can get from that. Uh, ooh, that's interesting. What is this... Hmm. What am I missing here? Why is this one only one point, but it's 12 and this one's two? Oh, because sometimes it's better to draw to buy low, like John was saying, because it can mess the other person up that, that might need that. So I'm actually not going to roll this one. I'm going to upgrade my... This is a starter monster, too, versus those are not starters, just so you know. Okay. I did not So know. I get to go ahead and upgrade. So you Yeah, can you can them. upgrade. I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to upgrade two of my camps as well, and I will take this 11, which is going to... Be the second part of the set. Now, if I can get that blue one, then I'll be able to get done. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go blue again because yeah. I've got five die. But the reason is, is because I want to get a cage yeah. monster and you'll see what will happen. Pardon me, consider doing that too, but yeah. Tanner! Wow. That's exactly what I need to go ahead and upgrade that again. Okay. You getting some good rolls this time. Well, you know, part of me likes that five. I think I'm going to have to take it, but a double one down here where I have nothing with the airy, that is so tempting to just grab that double one. Because I really I want 20 points. I'm doing it. I mean, go big or go home. Okay. So I have 10, 14, 15, 16. I need four points with these two die. This is actually a little risky. Actually, I need to 21 get two. points. Yeah, you need, I need 21 you need, points. You need five points if you... Let me see what happens If you want to get that and get a... So I've got 17, 18, 19. So you need a two. I'm not going to do it. But if, yeah, that's a little risky. I'm not going to risk it, um, which means I'm just going to straight up take yeah. a caged monster, which they have values on the bottom. I don't. I can look at it. I don't want to show Dean. I don't let, let him see how many points I have. You may say, why did you do that? You could go ahead and get this. It's a sure thing because now we're going to flip these over. And when we fill up the display, I get to put my token on here. Whenever I do that, at the end of the game, if it's still out there, then I'll get the caged value, which isn't a huge amount. Like you might, you know, like right now that's worth two, one, one, and one. But it's definitely something in a tight game. Yeah. So Dean's going to probably want to go for those. I may want to leave those there on the table. But I went ahead and stuck yeah. with this because I'm going to get to upgrade this. But I really wanted to upgrade this twice so that I could go for some of these airy monsters. Yeah. Okay, what do you want? All right, I think I'm going to go for blue so that I can get that extra, that potentially get okay. this 11 one. Um, yeah, I've got three. Because then he would, have a, he would have a permanent black die if Ooh. you do that. The other thing is, though, getting this would be beneficial because I've already, I can already upgrade my yellow camp if somebody busts. This one will allow me to also upgrade my blue camp, which is actually, that would be better. And I'd be able to take one of those tokens off of there. The other thing is, um, this one allows me to immediately upgrade. If I can get 15, I can immediately upgrade my yellow, yellow. camp. Um, and I'm able to roll a lot of green it dice. Also counts, this one also counts towards those yeah. as well. So, But unfortunately, I don't need that. I yeah. think... Um, 
Ooh, that is really good. But I'm not worried about John getting those because if he does, his token's gonna come off as well. But I still uh, might do it. You still it, might because yeah. it's a big benefit for sure. But I think I might wanna go ahead and complete that set. So that's what I'm gonna go for. We'll see if that works out. That's gonna benefit John to get that 10, but. Sweet. But it's, it's also to going to 10. guarantee that I'll be able to get that. I'm one. getting close to finishing this up when you get to the seventh level. I think it's the seventh level, um, seventh upgrade then you're done so. When you get to the last one here, you do gain two caged monsters, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, um, I'll do that. I'm gonna keep the five. The two would have been nice to upgrade my blue camp, but I'm kind of thinking that I might be able to get, potentially get this and a caged monster, which could be helpful. And there we go. I did not do that. But you get to upgrade But I do get twice. to upgrade my yellow twice. So okay, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and do that, that one, and then I'll flip it over um, here, it's two. And then I can not upgrade another one, but I'm going to take, let's see, I got 15, 17. I'm going to take this. Uh, yeah, have this any is, options. yeah, there's a little bit of glare, so I couldn't tell what that gotcha. color was. But um, So that will complete my set. So now I'll get an extra black die whenever I'm rolling for anything. Anything. All right, I'm going to go I'm gonna go out to the area where you can see if I can pick up some of these. Grabbing a seven right off the bat. I'm not going to complain about that. Three fours would be kind of nice, though. But I'm going to stick with that. All right, I'm gonna go with a fiver. Am I? I could I could finish that upgrade, but I'm not I'm not too worried about finishing that upgrade right now. So I'm gonna stick with that five. So that's twelve, uh, which I have enough to get these two monsters. Yeah, it's probably. But I'd like to get. I wouldn't mind getting twenty points if possible. Um, so that's that is twelve plus eight. There we go. So that means I could go ahead and grab this person and go ahead and grab some more, grab a caged monster again and refill this again. The only negative to what I'm doing here is <clears throat> I'm not upgrading anything. Yeah. So do I want to push my luck and hope that I, if I roll a four or a five, I'm in trouble? I'm not this time. I've been going pretty risky in this game. This time I'm going to just say, you know what? I'm happy where I'm at. I'm going to take this, which is going to be part of that. I'm going to grab another caged monster. Because you're, you're chicken, right? I paid right? 20, because I guess. you're chicken? I guess. That, Whoa, that look at that guy. Look at that slime giant. It's got a, taking an airplane down. The art wow. of this is pretty cool. Pretty we nice. haven't talked about art components, but. Well, this is filling up with all your tokens, John. I need to do something about that. Well. We're still early in the game, though, so I've got. Pretty, pretty early. Time. There was, in a two-player game, there's 27 cards. Three of them had come out originally to fill this, so there was 24 left. When this is up, then the game's over. You know, originally I was going to go for green, but there's some good... Well, I went first. You don't get another chance. There's go some first. good... Um, yeah, I did. You did, yeah. There's some good yellow ones out there as well that can give me a lot of points. And I'm able to roll just as many yellows as I am green. Ooh, this is a tough one. But I kind of like the bonuses a little bit better on the green, so I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to take a green and I'm going to get six uh, black die. Wow. And hopefully be able to take some that of those tokens off there. Ooh, right. you know what? Hmm, that's tough. I changed my mind. I'm gonna go yellow. Forget about that other stuff. I want points, right? Okay. Yeah, I mean, the whole game is about points. I mean, that slime giant, if there's any way you could get that, is worth six points. That's, that's a 10. Huge. That's a good start, I guess. But Helps me. To get 32 is gonna be difficult. I would have to get all sixes right here. I did get two, which is pretty nice. We didn't mention that this monster dealer is up here no matter what, and it never goes away. If you roll that, if you get 40 points worth, you can just grab six caged monsters. So so I'm at 26 right now. Oh, you could actually. I potentially could get that. Why do you keep putting 20, uh, 26, what? Oh, you sorry. Put it easier where. <laughs> I did that earlier too. Where Meeple Town can see a little better. There you go. I'm not even Maybe. rolling green either, so it's kind of weird I would do that. Yes. Uh, right. Oh no. Take my three, which will help me to upgrade my green. So I'm at what am I at? Uh, twenty nine. Is that right? That right there is twenty. Yeah, twenty nine. Yeah. Um, Ooh. it's tough. I would need to roll a two, five, or That's one. That's a tough decision. Wow, he's going for it. He can knock his ten out. I could, but the problem is, I I'm still gonna get this one. You know, yeah. so it's almost. And you are going to help. Come on, five. There we go. The one wow. helps. Uh, the two does too, I guess. Either one of those could help. Man, you're getting some serious upgrades. So I'm at 31 right now, right? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> I'd have to roll a one or a five. That's and if not, I'm going to knock that out. So I'm just going to, I'm going to pass on that, I think. Um, but I will, ooh, what to do, what to do. I think I'm going to go, what did I say, 29? 
if I get this, I could also get this one, but that's not really that helpful for me either. Oh, I didn't see this either. That's a that's one too, and that's going to give me four points in oh, the same bonus. One. It doesn't have John's token on there, but again, I still think we're pretty four early. Points. Yeah. So I'm going to. Mm, yep, I'll take that. I'll take that. Okay. Going for a cage monster wouldn't have been a terrible thing either, but I'm going to the Chanted Forest this time. Um, oh wait, I did not upgrade my stuff. Oh lord. Do you remember what I had? I had a two uh, for sure. I think you had a. Th I had a three too. Three. I think you did. Yeah. But I did not. Have oh, a I didn't one. upgrade mine either. I did not have. A so one. my up my upgrade actually gives me two caged monsters now. So there's yeah. two. I think more. I just had one of those. There's so we're lowering the deck a little bit. I'm going to go Enchanted Forest because I, need, I want to complete this set so I can get another die. The unfortunate thing is this is my lowest value, my lowest thing, but it looks pretty easy, hopefully, to Kate, to grab some of these. See, this is where the it's an interesting decisions here. Like, that's a double upgrade right there. But at this point, I want to get that permanent for sure. And I'm going to... Now, I could, if I go this, that's 13. If I were to gain 18 points i could yet again get another caged monster um i'm gonna keep going yeah for sure the Let's chance of that is pretty wow, high look so. at that so that is 13 that's 18 right there um so i have the the chance to do that. also like this is intriguing as well i'm not gonna lie like because i think dean will end up taking it eventually maybe not though you just never know um and the same thing over here that's three points but i think i'm gonna keep doing what i'm doing to keep that strategy going I, i'm not upgrading again so, D I don't know, but I will take this, and then I will take another cage monster, which then means I will refill. I mean, you're just getting the, a lot of points display. from that, though, which is, is yeah. beneficial. I almost have all of my markers out. Look at this. Crush Station. That's pretty good. How about that? Kind of looks like that thing from oh, wait, hold Moana yeah, a little anything. bit. Do um, you want to hand me six black die and a green die? I'm going to start know everything about Moana. Going for some. I actually, yeah, it's a really excellent movie. Green? Yeah. If you've not followed our channel much, Dean is the Disney King. He knows all about Disney. And not the Disney even, King. I just really like Disney. Is that even Disney? Yes. Okay. You're a disappointment to the channel. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's a terrible roll. I could upgrade my yellow three times by taking those ones, but that is not what I want to do at all. Um, I could max out... I will keep these three. So two threes. This is a terrible roll, John. I'm going to need to do much better. How about I put these over here instead of my card? You don't have any caged monsters, do you? Oh, goodness. Interesting. Oh, goodness. This is really bad. No, I don't. The problem with the cage is you get the lower value. You get all these threes Which is often half or less than half. Even like that three is only worth one. So. All right. Um, I could again keep this one. What am I at? I'm at 16 right now. I really only need... I guess 18 to be able to get that one. But if I get this one, that's going to automatically just straight up upgrade. Ooh, this is a little tricky, isn't it? I think. Is it? Let's see. Is it tricky? 10, 16, 17, and I would have to roll a two or a six. Or potentially higher with this. So let's go. Let's go that. The thing is, if I bust two, I can always upgrade my yellow, and I don't... I would bust my five, and that is what happens. So I did bust... But you get to upgrade. Yeah, I do get to upgrade my yellow for doing that, but then I have to get rid of my, one of my five. So you don't get rid of all of them, you just yeah, get rid of this one goes, of them. Yeah, that goes away, but I do get to Sorry. roll these. Um, I get to roll these again. But the problem is, if I roll three and five roll again, again, then there's a seven. Hmm. There's a two as well. So what am I at? I'm at 12... 13 and well, that's then 10 and that's 8 and that's 16, nine, 19. 19. So I'm at 19. I can get that one and I might just stop right there. Eh. That's three points versus two points. But with this one, I can, with that yellow one, I can upgrade. So it's one less point. But I already started this set. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to get this, get your token off of there. I'm going to keep, okay. keep this one. Hold on. I'm going to upgrade. You get your up three twice and your one once. Yeah. One, two. So I maxed out my green. So and when I do that, monsters. I gain two monsters from here, which are going to be worth 100 points. Okay. All right. I'm going to go for blue because I have. No, it does say. We, I don't They're know not worth 100 doing points. It. Is that you kind of lift up to remind yourself. But, I mean, you've got your blue die there. So I don't really know why you need to do that. But yeah. Anyways. Uh, maybe there's another reason. Okay, so that's not great. 
It's not bad. All right, I'm gonna bank those two. So I'm looking at, the problem is I'm gonna go blue, which is I'm gonna clear off one of those, but I have so many out there I've got to do like. Yeah, you're right. I mean, there's something. Look at that roll. I almost busted. Well, oh, of. wow, yeah. Um, well. So at this point, I'm gonna take the three simply because I'll, this has got up to 10 value on it. So I'm hoping Just that. go ahead and roll an eight. I think that would be great. Wow, I can't stop rolling fives. And now I have to take both of these twos. Which is an upgrade for you, right? It is an upgrade, and it's, but no, it's not. It's the one that's maxed out. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. This is actually, man, I've been rolling pretty bad in this game. All right, so I've got 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Um, 17 points here, um, and I'm going blue. Ah, this just stinks. I really wanted this one, but the odds, 17. Oh, if I could roll a six, I would be able to get... That one right there worth four points. You know what? I'm going for it. Okay. Dang it. Just not an, actually, I'm going to do that and upgrade and just call it a night there. Okay. Right. So there's 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18. Okay. I'm going to take this one, which means that I don't get my own, which stinks. I'm going to have to take off my thing. Um, but I'm also going to upgrade this once. I'm going to upgrade. That no times and that once. All right. And Dean doesn't get to upgrade, so what do you want, Dean? That's right. I'm going to take yellow. So I'm going to get seven. And I really... Uh, I didn't even roll an extra die like I was supposed to last round. Well, dumb John. That's what they call me. Uh, who calls you that? You do. <laughs> uh, eight. There we go. That's pretty good. Now that max is out at ten, but... And eight's pretty good, so I'm going to take that eight. And the, the good thing about my roll now is I've got two wild up here, so it almost doesn't matter if I take another one of those, which one it's going to be, because I'll be able to get uh, the benefit anyway. All right. Oof. Goodness gracious, look at all those dice. It's not great, though. Um, I might take these twos. That will help me. My blue, is, my blue really doesn't have a whole lot, so I think, yeah, I will do that. Um, and I really would like to just roll all sixes right here. That would be really helpful. <laughs> Has that ever happened? Not to me. Threes. I will take the threes. That will also, those are maxed out. Ooh, that's tricky. I'm going to take the four then. And then again, hope for some sixes. What am I at right at 10? 16? Hope for some sixes. Is that what you were doing? 16. I see what you're doing there. <laughs> Uh, again, and I'm, you're almost maxed out on everything. I dude. know it. I know it. The problem is I'm not rolling any fives and sixes here, and I really need those. So I think I'm just going to keep the one because I don't want to take those. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That would give me a better chance that I can roll all sixes right here or all fives. I did roll one six. So that would put me at, let's see, that'd be 10, 20, wait, 23 is what I'm at right now. But I have to roll a five or a three here. I go for it. Got to go for it, John. Got to thing it. You're rolling like a champ. I don't even know why I did that. I don't know the benefit of what I've got. I've got 10, 20, 5, 26. That does give me this one. And that actually does. Big points. That does help me. Um, I think I'm getting whipped in this And game. I think I might get some upgrades too. So with the blues, I'm going to get one, two upgrades. So that's one. And then flip it over. That's two. With my threes, I'm going to, I'm already maxed out there. And then my one, I max out here, so I'm going to get two caged monsters. Let's see what we got here. And when I do that, I actually get to, um, oh, I didn't do this last time, but it's not going to make a difference because you didn't, I don't think you took anything anyway, did you? Or maybe you did. I took one. Okay, so this is going to go away. I should have gotten this first. And then when this, when this happens, now I've completed that set. And then two extra. That's right. But then I get to put out my tokens on these did three you take spots. A case monster? I did from my card. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I did that last time, I too. That, I don't I, know if I did that myself, actually. I actually messed it up. So if you didn't and I didn't, then we would yeah. be even. I don't, against, I don't know if there's anything out there, but yeah. yeah. I don't I'm not look at So this. that stinks for me because I was absolutely going to do that next round um, and put some more of those tokens out there because Dean is really whipping me in this game right now. So... It's a difficult, some difficult decisions here. Like I don't want him to get some of those. I could try to snake a couple of those blue ones down there from him. Um, 
or go, the problem is I've already got a blue. I think I'm going to go Enchanted Forest, but the problem with the Enchanted Forest is it's not the greatest for me, but I'm going to do it. One, two, three, four, and I'll actually use my extra die and just see what happens. The game's almost over, by the way. All right. Wow, that's a tough decision because two fives is nice. Or just go ahead and grab that seven. That's only All right, Meeple Town, so the camera shut off. Um, so I'll tell you what happened because I can't re-roll the dice. I'm not going to take my whole turn all over again. Basically, I went ahead and went towards the Enchanted Forest because I'm trying to, you know, complete some of these, even though this one, the one I ended up getting counts as any if I want to. Um, but I did, and I, I got to upgrade this once and grab that. So let's just, that's it. I'm good to go? Yep. I'm going to take all the black dice and oh then a gosh. yellow, I believe. For a couple reasons. One, getting goodness. that 32 is what I'm going for. If I can prevent John from getting over. those. You've already got that. You're crushing me. You have game. a lot of monster points. More monster points than I do and those. That's that's what your saving grace could be in this game. I don't think sure. so, though. I just don't. I don't. Like, these are only worth one apiece, except for, like, a two and a four. Yeah. And you've got a, a lot more over there. It's not. I still think I need to, as best I can, try yeah. to steal uh, over here. So I get a 10. As best I can, I want to try to at least steal that one. To be a, a nine point swing, I guess. If I would get would those six huge. and steal those three yeah. from John. That would be huge for you. So hopefully you don't roll well. Hopefully you just keep miss throwing. It could happen. Um, let's see. This would give me the 20 that I need. So you're um, really close. Because I don't have. Yeah, that actually probably would be the. All right. Although, watch, I'll roll like I'll keep them five fives or something. I'll keep them in tens over here for you. So I need to roll two sixes and that would get what I need. But I have another thought too. Ooh, this is not good, is it? Uh, so, twos are helpful. I'm going to keep these twos, because I okay. also still have some room to upgrade my blue. All right. Um, come on, two sixes. I'm, I don't think I've rolled any sixes this roll. Maybe. Two six. Three! three of them. Are there you dead, gummit? So I'm going to stop. I <laughs> I'd say. <laughs> I will stop. So that's going to be, let's see, 18, 28, 38, uh, 40. Ooh. You could go for the 42. monster. 42. That is, but that here, is but here, The challenge with it is, is there's only... Four of these left, but you do get no. no you, get, you do get to grab it. Sorry, and this would you end do the game if I did that too. Sure would. Here's the thing, though. If I took this from John again, that's a big swing. I would still have enough to be able to get um, to be able to get one monster, which means these. Uh, uh, yeah, to get one monster, which it means would refill. It would refill two of those spots out there, which could be. It, that a, might be worth it, and I would still. I'm, I've I've still got some room here to grow. You do too, though, and you can max sure out do. on those. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take this one. Wow, yeah. I, I wouldn't have done that. Yeah, but I am a little concerned though, John. Okay. I mean, that's I know you have more monsters than I do, and okay, let's let's go. Yeah, we'll we'll go for it. So I'm gonna take this. And you're on, buying a cage monster too, right? Yeah, one cage monster, and go. I'll put two of my tokens out there, and the ones that are gonna go out there. Plus, I'm gonna upgrade my oh, blue one, one. two. I've got a, so this a couple the, of reasons to do that. I, I It is risky, you're right. But All right, last round. So I'm going to roll, Dean's going to roll, this thing's going to be over. Um, you know, part of me just saying you might as well go for... That wasn't worth it. Yeah. <laughs> I, that cage monster I was, didn't help me anyway. So the highest value is this four here, which, you know, and there's a three of Dean's, which he's going to get one point for there. I could get two if I keep that one. Um I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go blue. I mean, might as well. Unfortunately, I'm only gonna. I don't have like the crazy amount of dice like Dean has. Pretty good though, almost all of them. Okay, I'll just see what happens. Um, because he has multiple ones on blue, and it's my highest value. Actually, that makes the yeah. absolute sense to try to do this. Okay, so my highest value one I got is a one there. That's not great. All right, so two sixes. I'm not bad. I'm not sad about that. I rolled my ten. Fantastic. So I've got twenty two points right off the rip. So I'm going to take at least one of his down. Mm -hmm. um, now, I could upgrade this twice with this and gain two caged monsters, but I need to upgrade it three times. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to take the four right now. So I've got... Um, all right. So... Like, okay. I don't like that. And I don't like that at all. Wow. This has not been the greatest. The two doesn't help me at all, but I want to keep those dice. So what do I have? 12 plus that is 16, 17, 18. So I only have 28 points right now. And only I've got 28. A, That's a lot. Yeah. I'm just going to roll. Let's just go. 
Yeah, five. I rolled a five. Yeah. All right, so that's 32. Um, so with 32 points, the interesting things I can do, like I got to think this mathematically. So I could, I could grab these two and eliminate two points from Dean. Mm-hmm. Or I could grab one of those, flip this over, and it could be mine, potentially. Um, and one point's the least that it possibly could be. This one would allow me to upgrade, but that's not right. I just need to take the point. So I'm actually going to do this. I'm actually just going to take this one for 17. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to take the other 10 points to grab this. So let's see what that was. Eh, not great. And then this is going to flip over. Hopefully this is a big daddy. Nope, not great. One pointer for me. Dean, what are you going to do for your last round? Yeah, it's tricky now. Originally, I thought that I was going to go yellow, but you got some two two big point blue ones out there. So I'm going to go blue with all of the black dye, I believe. Yellow's been good to me in this game, too. I've got lots of 10s on those, on those yeah, rolls. Yeah, it's been really good. Uh, yep, that's what I'm going to do. So 10? No. There are three sixes in there, though. It's also two fives, three twos, and I need one two to be able to get another caged monster. Um, ooh, this is a tough one, actually. That's tough. I agree with that because you, <clears throat> the six could be a ten. You know? Right, right. And that's kind of what I'm hoping on is that I might be able to get a better roll from that. So I'm going to take these two fives. Wow. I would have I would have thought about that, too, because you could have... Whenever you have the blue die that's higher than the rest, then nothing else can roll that. That's right. So... You, so right now wow. I'm at 10, 22. Um, I really would have liked to have gotten a cage monster too. The thing I'd love is, to see I'll him start one, throwing left. I only right. need one more. Come on, let, let him just miss throw a bunch. That would be just a great ending to the video. There's a 10. Uh -huh. I don't think that's a miss. Um, however, there's you know, some disdain I miss. in your voice. When you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so, I don't think that's a trash talk. <laughs> that was a. <laughs> I don't. Wanna, I don't want to play you on the. Take you to the b-ball course. What do I got? Thirty-two like, in your face. Thirty-two. So I only need. You guys thought one that John more. was the. John was the media. <laughs> uh, that was a jerk move, wasn't it? Wow, uh, you've rolled so great. I in did this almost game. miss that one though. So I'm at. Let's see. That's going to be twenty. 30, I told you. I've won every time that we're going to get on camera. And you're going you're gonna to have a two-game lead after this. 38. So I'm, I'm definitely going to take this one, and then I'd be able to get a cage monster, and then another one would come out there in in my name, which would be really good. What did I say, 38? Say my name, say 10, my name. 10, 20, 38. You have so many points, I don't even care anymore. And I can't get any sixes. The only thing I can do is roll, what, threes and twos and ones. It's, I don't think it's really worth it for me do to it. do that. Um, no, 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 it is. It is actually. I only need one more two. Okay, roll only force. Oh, this would be great. I would still. I, I, st I still think I'm gonna get your, it. He would lose his ten. I would lose my ten, but I would still get this one. Yeah. I just wouldn't get the cage monster. So, two twos Do would it. be really nice. Do it. Do it. Two. Dang. Just one. Actually, I just need a one two. There we go. So let's see. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. All right. Oh, that's tough now because now I can get all of those caged animals and just forget about that one. Ooh, that's a lot of caged animals. I'm probably going mean, to get... you should take that. Yeah. The worst you're going to get is six points. I mean, you're going to get two points from that. I'm, I'm okay with that. This one's going to upgrade, so I'm actually going to get one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight. Eight, yep. Yeah. Eight caged monsters. And that ends the game. That's <laughs> this a lot. Is, this is not even like... This is an absolute butt whooping. Let me see how many you, these are. Just you, took me out, see. you took a switch, like, like my grandmama used to do. <laughs> take a switch to me. <laughs> took me to the woodshed. And whipped me. 17 points this right here, even, just on that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm not. Okay. Oh, this is not even close. All right, so what are we going to do first, John? We're all right, so we're our... just going to count up all of our monster points, and then, you know, when we count these up, this happens. We also do take these cards, but those are caged, caged monster. monsters. Yeah. So I got a couple, few more than him, but, or a couple more, but not that many. This is not even close. So, that was a big last turn. Getting that was, was really helpful. So maybe you made the right move by doing that. So let's see, that is. You beat me by like a, I mean, you beat me by like 30 points or something. This is unbelievable. So two, four, six. Dude, I barely even got as many points as you got like on that last turn. <laughs> Seriously. This is the, dee -doo -dee -doo. this is the whipping of the century in this, in on Meeple Town. Yeah, I think that's right. I think that's, I think I got all of them. 28 points. 
I think I'm 52. 52. I had, let's see, 29, 30, 40, 50, yeah, 52. This is actually kind of good for some of the gameplay thoughts that we can get into. Yeah. So that game, oh, let's do Art and Components and we'll, we'll give our gameplay thoughts. Yeah. Art and Components is interesting. There's three really good artists that, that helped out with this game. This looks um, really right? boring Dennis Lohausen right now. and... Let's put some cards out there. Who, who are the other ones? Michael Menzel and I forget who the last Oliver one was. Oliver and... Ah, uh, man, I'm sorry. I can't remember his last name. Um, it is in the back. Yeah, it's in the back here. Sorry about that. We need that. to give him some credit. Yeah, for sure. Did some really um, good job. Really good job. Uh, Oliver Schlimmer is is yeah. the other artist. And, and I like it. I really like the art on this game a lot. I think it's... Yeah. Um, it's unique monsters, right? Not like those normal, Shows like, you know, the normal tropes that you could see. This could be very well uh, be cave like... Cave Beast is kind of normal, but... Could be like generic fantasy kind of theming, even though it's going with this, you know, this monster. That's one of my favorites. The series. Vapor Snail. Yeah. That's sick. Yeah. In a good way. So I really like the art on the, the on the cards. I think it's really well done. The crush -tation. Yeah, so I agree 100%. What I don't like is the box. I hate this box. I didn't look at the box. Let's see. Like I like the monsters, but like yeah. the like the fake wood grain stuff. Like uh, I just I just ah, I hope that doesn't turn some people off. It, I, it matches with the other monster. It does match match with that. Okay. What is it called? What's the other other game called? We have it in the Carnival closet, of right? Monsters. Carnival of Monsters. There we yeah. go. It matches the art on there, so I understand why they went that direction. But the card art's great. Uh, I love the card art. I love looking at these monsters. Some really just creative monsters some fun names anyways i can put those out so i think that's all good these are just some dice here's the thing y'all this is uh linen finished cards now these are just pieces of cardboard right nothing super fancy it does i'm gonna pull this back up again this is a small box which is nice in my opinion i like small boxes this game is i just looked on um a well-known i'll just say page and it was $15. $15 for it, this game? 14 dollars something. that's a really good deal so this is like i see it some places for like 20 i think it's I saw one which was twenty. So you're talking like fifteen to twenty dollars for this game. Exactly what I want. That's right. I'm gonna I'm gonna add something, John. Yeah. Um, you you had mentioned nothing special about these. They're different shapes, not just different colors, but different shapes and different uh, designs on there. Might not see it like a big deal, but you need to be able to just look out it there actually and see helps what yours. Those are the these two are not that far distance in the color, so it's nice to have the different shapes on. Yeah. There. Yeah. But they do kind of can kind of get lost on the card art. And that's why I'm thankful yeah. that they're different shapes and different colors yeah. and designs and all if, that. I agree with that. Gameplay though. So it was a fun. Up. Yeah. Okay, so this is Alexander Pfister. Um, I, I wasn't a huge fan of Cloud Age earlier in the year. It was fine. It was a good game. So I was excited to try another Pfister game. This is straight up, as you saw during the gameplay, this is just a, this is a push your luck game. Yeah. Uh, it's got a little engine building, which I'm a big engine building fan, um, with like getting more dice. And if someone misthrows, you you know can upgrade your cars and stuff, and you're upgrading your camps, which I really like that about the game a lot. It's simple to teach. I like that about the game a lot. Um, I will say what happened during gameplay that I don't like about the game is that it's you can be a runaway winner with this game. So early in the game, when I was not throwing super well and getting bad things, the rich get richer. Now you can risk. You can be risky. Like yeah. there are decisions. Like and there's and the positive to the rich getting the positive is that mechanic where you're putting your shields out. So if Dean is doing a lot of stuff, maybe I can get lucky <laughs> and put some shields out and end up getting a lot, or end up going for some cage monsters and 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 lucking out. There, there there's some opportunities there. But I think, I feel like in every game I've played of this, I, no one, no, no, I won't say that. that I was going to say that I knew he was going to, most, a lot of the games are pretty tight. This is one, but there have been a few games where someone started off pretty rough and it was really hard to recover. So it was kind of 15, 20 minutes of going, I think it's pretty much inevitable who's going to win the game. That's a little bit of a downer for me. Yeah. Yeah. Again, a lot of it goes to, to pushing your luck. Yeah. Um, I, and I did. Like, I, I was no doubt. I did. I don't think I busted in this game, did I? <laughs> one one time. Uh, yeah, I busted one, one time, time, that's right. But the good thing I like about that is most times the push of luck is just really bad, but you can get cards like I had that would benefit me. You know, if I sure. if I bust or if John busts, I'm actually able to upgrade anyway, even though it's bad because you lose the die and typically it's going to be a, a high number die, especially later in the game. You're probably looking at losing eight to 10 points of uh, of your rolls just from, yeah. just from pushing your luck. But again, you can gain a benefit from that. I, I just I like that element that you don't really see in a lot of push your luck games. Um, sometimes mm -hmm. this game can 
it seemed over, like it, it, it can seem like it overstays its welcome a little bit. I didn't actually feel that when we played this time. I felt very engaged the whole time, but I think part of that can come with if you know if you feel like somebody's really going to run away with it, then then you're you know you might feel that way. Like okay, we it's, experienced it's the opposite of this. I think last time we played. Yes. And it, yeah. So uh-huh. I was pretty much the same kind of. I went, I didn't beat Dean near as bad as he just beat me, but it looked like I was going to have the win, and and so I actually reverse. I say the same thing in reverse, like being in this seat where I was just like kind of behind. I was like, yeah, this game is kind of dragging for me. Yeah. Is, is there any dragons out there? It's kind of dragging for me. I don't think there are any um, dragons, are there? What about that? That's kind of a dragon. It's a dinosaur looking creature. Um, I agree that. I agree, I agree, though, that it does slightly sometimes get a little long in the tooth, mm-hmm. as, it, as it were, as it say... So I being a being a push your luck game, I like these games usually being around like twenty minutes or something like that. Yeah. When it gets to the thirty up to, I think this was probably about a forty minute playthrough. I was watching the the camera somewhere that's probably around right, that. Yeah. Now we did talk about things and stopped a little bit more than we probably normally would, but that's that's where it starts to get a little less. Uh, it loses my attention a little bit when it gets up that. So that's that's one that is a negative for me. Yeah. Like if it was really a tight twenty to max 30 minutes, I would like this game a little bit better. Yeah. Hey, let me let me point out one more negative that I have. Not um, a, a possible opportunity to improve, maybe. Um, <laughs> but, because I don't... I love the way you... Because I don't think it has to like just be a negative thought, but I want more variety in the cards. That's, that's mm. one of the... That's maybe my biggest issue with this game is most of the cards are collect these sets so you can get an extra black die, or if you bust... Um, you you get to upgrade. That's pretty much all we saw, or some immediate upgrades. Now there are some that you'll be able to steal cards from other players. That's happened we didn't to get, us. Yeah, and we didn't get those. Didn't come out. I don't think at all. Yeah, they didn't. So you didn't. You. you but know. it's it is just a few things. It's it's if they miss throw. It's you can get an immediate cage, and um, there's also if which are more interesting. It's kind of funny those cards didn't come out. There's plenty that say like if you or your um, opponents. Because you mean more players roll an eight, then you get to upgrade your thing again. Yeah, which makes it a little bit more interesting for um, yeah for that. I'm looking up the BGG that's right things right now. I, not... But I think I think that with like a and I don't know if this would ever get any expansions. This is a smaller box game, so it may not. You but say it, expansions, expansions. <laughs> I think I said expansions. But if it did, I feel like that could be easily done i mean i'm not a designer but i would imagine like yeah. i just want more variety in the cards and that I totally would really agree. shake things up for me yeah. and definitely drive the score up for me a little higher because the gameplay itself i enjoy i enjoy the push your luck i enjoy the rolling your dice and get the monsters it's real simple in the, in the vein of like a a dragon realms kind of yeah. kind of game you know but i like that i like that for this small box shorter you know, potentially shorter sure. game. I enjoy that. I just want a little bit more variety. I agree. And I'm guessing that Fister just wanted to keep it pretty simple to make this sure. a, just a lighter weight game to where you can play this with, I mean, you can play this with anybody. Yeah. You know, so final thoughts. Yeah, I, I can start off with that. Okay. Um, so uh, I, funny enough, John did a review of Carnival of Monsters. Mm. I didn't play it until after he did the review, but Carnival of Monsters is a game that I quite enjoyed. I, I he like, wants to make sure he says this on camera, so they I, know. And I think I've said it on the podcast, maybe, but I really enjoy Carnival of it's Monsters. It's like an 8 out of 10 for you or something. It was. It, it was yeah. an 8. Yeah, I like drafting. I like how all that gameplay works. And and this one is a very different game, but it's in that same series of collecting monsters. Um, and I like this one, too. I think this one is fun. I, again, I've got some issues with it, and I, I just want maybe a little bit shorter game time, but also maybe some variety in the cards variety, and that yeah. really would have bumped it up even higher as it is i'm at about a six and i, I am i'm at a six and a half on this okay. one which is good it's it's a game that i think is i'm going to read this out loud just to yeah that's fine just that's to fine. help everyone so yeah. we use the bgg rating scale if you've never seen us yeah. six is okay game some fun or challenge at least we'll play sporadically if in the right mood seven is good game usually willing to play yeah Th- that's probably the biggest like jump from six to a seven than any of the other ratings it does. in there but I'm I'm more on a seven side of this. I'll go ahead and say this. I think it's better than an okay game for what for what it is. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, again, a, a kind of a filler type game is what what I might put this in the category of. But I'm not I'm not wanting to play this game all the time. But I think I'm I'm definitely if John was like, hey, let's you know we'll keep this in the office. Hey, do you want to take this out and play it? Yeah, absolutely. It's a fun, quick game. Um, but I just want a little bit more to push it up over to the seven mark. Yeah, I don't like this game quite as much as Dean. Um, it's fine. It's 
I'll, some of the elements are cool. I really like looking at the different monsters and going out and trying to get those. I really like, I've mentioned this again, but if anyone skips to the final thoughts, I like how you can get caged monsters and that's a cool mechanic. Like if you decide to take a cage, then the monsters go out and you get to put your tokens on there. I think that's really cool. I think that was, that was a smart idea, but I agree with Dean. I wish there was a little bit more variety. I feel like the game is a little bit long for how simple it is. And I just... I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10, mm -hmm. which, again, what was that like? We'll okay, play okay yeah. game. We'll play sporadically if in the mood. I mean, that's you know that's how I feel about this game. And some people might go 6 out of 10, but I mean, that's – I'm just going with BGG. That's how I feel. Like, I, would I usually be willing to play it? Nah, I would – there's a lot of other um, push your mail games that I would probably pick over this. Um, but it's not a bad game. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, it's and fine. I think, you know, I mentioned Dragon Realms, which has some of that same yeah. element a little bit. And, I you know, I, I would prefer to play that, but – but I still like this, and I do think this could jump into seven territory if those were if those things were were fixed. And it could be, you know, a shorter game could just mean a smaller stack of cards potentially. Yeah, I mean, you could do that. Yeah, I mean, you could house rule it and just have less cards there and try to make it shorter. For yeah. Sure. Now they did these upgrades happen really fast, and so you can upgrade really quickly, and then that you really you know speeds the game up potentially. So. That's true. But I will. But it, again, positively, I will say. Um, you know, Amigo Games put an incredible price tag on this game. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, they had a well-produced game for, for that price, for yeah. the 15 to $20 mark. Like, if you're kind of going, eh, I mean, it's kind of worth a flyer. Like, yeah. I mean, in my opinion, it's like, eh, that's 15 20 bucks. 20 Let's see if I like it. I agree with that. So anyway, that is a six and a half for me, six from John. Tell people how they can get in touch with us. All right, if you're enjoying our channel, we would love for you to subscribe to it. As Dean said earlier, if you'd like to support what we're doing, go to Meeple oh, patreon.com slash MeepleTown. We're at MeepleTown Games on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and we're Board Game Geek Guild 3407. Thanks for coming down to MeepleTown. Thanks for joining us, and be sure to follow us on Twitter at MeepleTown Games, and connect with us on the MeepleTown Guild, guild number 3407, at BoardGameGeek.com. And also subscribe to our podcast and YouTube channel. And until next time, thanks for coming down to Meeple Town.